this week's health and nutrition news. Watching a soccer ball go back and forth can give you a headache, but playing soccer apparently causes 17,000 high school concussions a year. That's definitely worse than a brain freeze from a Slurpee. Concussions are often experienced by contact sports players, making up about 5 to 10% of all sports injuries for kids and teens. That's pretty big, especially when you consider that there's around 3 million young football players in the USA alone. Last year, the White House even held a Safe Sports Concussion Summit with over 200 professionals from places like the NFL and Defense Department putting their heads together no pun intended, to come up with solutions. See, many concussions are confused with mild headaches, so tough competitors often choose to play on, unaware of the damage. A very serious concussion can affect brain development for the rest of a player's life. So make sure to wear a helmet and play it safe if you feel dizzy after a nasty tackle or soccer tumble. Whether you're playing American football or football, be nice to your noggin. Oh, oh. It looks like soccer moms will need to start playing soccer too, because a study found daughters exercise more if their mothers do too. A study of 40 girls ages 5 to 12 revealed that young ladies were more likely to be couch potatoes if their mothers were, and more likely to exercise if their mama worked up a sweat from exercise. Researchers believe that's because moms are often the biggest role model for their little ladies in training. This is especially important because stats now show that girls and women exercise less than boys and men. Girls whose mothers had strong beliefs about the benefits of regular exercise spent more time doing moderate to hardcore physical activity, especially if they were enrolled by their mamas in athletic programs. It also helped if they were being cheered on or watched while they play. So all you soccer moms out there, you totally rock. You know who else lives like a champ? My mom! <laughs> Nine out of ten Americans don't eat enough fruit and vegetables, according to new research. Which means there's some serious nationwide slacking. Yowzers. See, researchers surveyed over 373,000 American adults in all 50 states. They asked them questions about how much fruits and veggies they gobbled up, and then compared the results to diet recommendations from health experts. See, each day you're supposed to eat about one and a half to two cups of fruits and two to three cups of vegetables. Only 13% of people were meeting recommendations for fruit and only 9% for vegetables. Wow! Californians, however, were in way better shape than other states. Must be all those oranges. If you're from the Golden State, don't be too proud of yourself, though. Only 18% of the state's residents eat enough healthy plants. In last place was Tennessee, with only 7.5% eating right. Carrots! Yeah! In my tummy party party! Yeah!